Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you guys? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you today? Are you okay? How was your vacation yesterday? Tell me, guys. Good night. Good evening. It was too short. <laughs> it was very short, right? Good evening, Sabrina. Good evening, teacher. Yes, I know it was so short. Sorry that I haven't turned on the camera, but uh, the place where I am right now is very dark. So I'm trying to find another place. Um, but um, yesterday I didn't have energy. That's the reason why we couldn't be in the class. There was a cable who uh, who actually um, it was destroyed, uh, and it was destroyed by, I don't know if it was a car or, or if it was a truck, I don't know, but it, it destroyed, it destroyed the cable, so I couldn't, I couldn't uh, be in the class, and it was like a four PM, so whenever I call the company, the energy company, uh, they couldn't help me until today, so they fixed it today. So, and I didn't have any other place to go, guys. <laughs> so that's the reason why I couldn't be here, but I am here right now. I will continue with the activities, guys. So let me get a moment. I believe I'm, I'm ready right now. With, I'll turn it on the camera. Just one moment, please. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. How are you, Daniel? Sorry that I am turning on the camera right now. Just one moment. How are you, Daniel? I'm fine. What about you? Fine. I'm good. Thank you for asking me. Look, this camera is horrible, guys. <laughs> I missed you yesterday. I miss you too. Pero miren, look at this camera. It's okay. awful. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, this one is the one that is awful. It's because the place where I am right now is difficult, guys. But um, <laughs> that is a normal one. I thought it was the other one, but no, it was the normal one. So I hope you see me. There is something wrong with the camera, maybe. One moment. No, I don't know. Uh-huh. It was like blue or something like that. Okay, guys, yes, I miss you. I was telling them, Daniel, that yesterday was so difficult for me because um, there was a cable that was destroyed for, for a truck or for a car, I don't know, in the street in my house. And exactly my car, my car, my, my house was the one that was affected. So that was the main reason why um, I didn't have energy. But... Um, I'm here, guys. I'm here. Hi. I have I have never well. I um I hadn't I hadn't missed a class before until yesterday, <laughs> right? Right? I hadn't missed it just because of the energy. 
previously, whenever I didn't have internet, I remember, guys, that I was moving to another place. Oh my God, it was difficult. But yesterday, the people uh, who could, um, you know, allow me to stay in their house, they was not at home. <laughs> so that's the reason I couldn't be there in that house. But I'm here. And thankfully, I'm here, guys. So uh, thank you for joining to the class. Thank you for being, on, for being on time, guys. We will start with the class right now. Let me get a second, because I will go ahead and um, share the screen. Just one moment. So what about you? What, what can you tell me about you guys? What did you do yesterday? Tell me, what did you do yesterday night? Uh-huh. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Yesterday I, I connected to the class. <laughs> Sabrina and me, we we are connected, but <laughs> oh. I don't don't uh, watch the the message in the, the WhatsApp, and I I stay here in the in the in the meeting. Really? Um, yes. <laughs> How long the time? No, I I connected, but I work in other in, in something in, in the computer and. We stayed in the in the meeting, but, but um, five or ten minutes uh, mm. be in the in the meeting and mm. and just Sabrina and me and I I I I asked me what happened. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> and, uh, uh, the Kuri, Sabrina, don't believe in me. <laughs> uh, oh my God. And any of you watch the message? Oh my God. No, I don't. I don't watch the message. I, I didn't Sorry. watch the message. <laughs> I didn't watch the message. And I say to Jaime, to Mr. Jaime, Mr. Avelar, what happened in, in the teacher? In the, no, in the classmate? There, there are no and class. after. Yes. And I say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry that I couldn't tell you about this. But I notified um, in Safari it was in English. Well, I, I notified them like uh, it was after 4 p.m. that that happened, right? Um, but they decided to wait and I decided to wait to, to get a place to, to be with you, right, in class because I didn't have energy. I mean, I was the only one in the neighbor that I that didn't have energy. But since I just moved on January, I mean, I don't have friends over there. Uh, but there was a person uh, that I know that that person could help me, but they were not at home yesterday night so i couldn't be there right uh, in their house to continue with the class so i was waiting to get a, a solution or to get an option to be in the class but i couldn't get an option i couldn't get a solution on time so that's why i i said like uh at 7 30 um you know what i'm sorry but i i don't have a place to to be in the class to teach the class, so I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and, and and reschedule for tomorrow because I mean, there's no way that I can give the classes, right? And they um, they wrote on the WhatsApp group uh, and they told you that we're not going we didn't we wouldn't have classes yesterday. So that's the reason why it was a little bit late. It was because we were struggling to go ahead and, and, and give the classes, but at the end we couldn't. But thank you guys. And I'm sorry again for the inconvenience, okay? I hope that you had slept more yesterday. <laughs> All right. So guys, um, I do have here the manual and I do have, well, I'm ready to go ahead and start a class. Let me go ahead and share the screen. And the ones that you just that just connected, welcome. 
Welcome guys, welcome back. Um, let me go ahead and start sharing the screen. This is the class number 13, okay? And today we will talk about how to use present progressive for ongoing activity, I mean, ongoing actions. That is a review. I know you have already learned this topic before, guys, because I was the one who taught this topic to you, is the present progressive, okay? Progressive actions. And, um, Let's see, in the previous class, <clears throat> sorry, we were working, uh, we were working on the page. Let me get a second. Guys, denme un segundo porque se escucha bastante el background. Okay, um, previous class, we were make, uh, we were doing some exercises. I will go through this right now, so we can just go ahead and check them out, okay? So do me a favor, guys, and let's go ahead and do it, uh, do them together because I know that you had some questions for this. So I don't know if you remember about this exercise. Could we solve it together, guys? I don't know if you can open the, the manual, please. Could you please open the manual? Please open the manual and we will solve them together, all right? I know you did it already, but this is in order to go ahead and check what we did previously. Mm, allow me just a moment, guys, just one second here. I will start sharing again just in one moment. I just want to see something. Okay, let me start sharing again, guys. Let's see. Guys, by the way, today is Friday, all right? Today is Friday and your body knows it. No, 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 guys. <laughs> no, today is Friday and tomorrow it's weekend, okay? So we will um, continue resting, meeting high oh, I see. <laughs> All right. So, um, guys, uh, that's the page 32, right? Match the positions in point number two with the definitions below. We have six definitions here. I know you did it already, but I want to compare the answers that you have. So could you please help me to do it, guys? What will be the number one? Um, Daniel, could you please read it? Number one. Number one, Daniel. Read the definition, please. Okay, number one. Our verses, both the Italian review and performance management process. For Processes. Me is Italian manage management process. processes. Management processes. For there me, is talent management consultant. All right. I think. Talent management consultant. All right, talent management consultant. What do you think, guys? Yes, is that yes. correct? Yes, teacher. Very good. 
talent management consultant oversees both the talent review and performance management management processes. Okay. Uh, Osvin, could you please help me to read the number two? Okay, okay. Develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relations. Mm -hmm. Disciplinary action operation. Very good. So what is the answer for that? What is the human resource position? Guys? Compensation specialist. All right. Is that correct? The compensation specialist, guys? Um, for mm -hmm. me, it's HR generalist. Generalist. <clears throat> I think it's benefit specialist. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys, but according to the results, I mean, to the answers is HR generalist. HR and generalist is the one that develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relations. Do you remember that we were talking about the relationships between your boss, between the employee, disciplinary actions, and they handle the operations as well. All right, so it's HR generalist. Very good, guys. Um, let's see. Julio Merino, ah, sorry to interrupt you. Could you please read the definition? The definition uh, number three, please. Um, benefit specialist. Oh, in the number three, benefit specialist. Yes. Could you please read the definition? Works in the companies. Read the mm. definition. This um, uh, the person this person um chair chair. No, could you please read the definition? This definition. Could you please read it? Uh, benefit uh, is a specialist uh, work in company mm -hmm. and companies human resource in personal de department department very good department good job all right so guys is it a benefit specialist or do you have any other option I think compensation specialist. Compensation specialist. Yes, sorry. Is <clears throat> compensation, <clears throat> sorry, a specialist, 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 all right? So is compensation specialist works in a company uh, in a company human resource or personal personnel department all right very good okay guys uh what about the other one it is the number four i will ask um mabel could you please help me to read the number four Good evening. Okay, teacher. It's uh, it's responsible mm -hmm. for assisting with the administration of the of all benefits. Benefits. Very good. Of assisting. Um, it's responsible. Sorry for assisting. Assisting. There you go. So, what is it, guys? What is this one? Who's responsible for assisting with the administration of all the employees? Who is the, the one that is responsible? Benefit specialist. 
<clears throat> benefit specialist. Very good. So benefit specialist is responsible for a system with the administration of all the benefits, all right? Very good. What about the number four, Lisette? Could you please read it? Lisa? Number four or five. Sorry, number five. Um, Handlings and Institute. Say a uh, administrative assistant handles administrative requests and requires serious serious managers. All right, very good. Let's repeat administrative assistant. Uh, sorry, administrative assistant um uh, handles administrative requests and requires for senior managers handles handles very good uh let's see what about the number six um christian could you please help me with the number six Christian? All right, let's go with um, Jessica. Could you please read the number six? Okay, uh, designs and implements overall recruiting strategy. Very good. Um, so what will be uh, the, the answer for that? Teacher? Yes? Uh, I'm, I'm driving uh, a study listener on moment. Thank you for letting us know. Thank you, Luis. Be careful. So. Teacher, I'm listening to Jonathan. Thank you guys. I appreciate you letting me know because um, I'm taking into account this, all right? All right, so I have Maggie, Jennifer, Marina, Luis, Jonathan, and... Uh-huh, those are the listeners today. Okay, so... What is it, the number six, guys? What is the number six? What is the Re answer? Recruiting yeah. coordinator. Recruiting, recruiting, recruiting coordinator. Recruiting, recruiting coordinator. Mm -hmm. Good job, recruiting coordinator. Good job. Designs and implement overall recruiting and strategies. All right, very good, guys. Um, let's see. Should I go down? Did you copy that? Did you get it? Puedo seguir? Puedo bajar? Yes. Very good. Continue, please. Excuse me, Daniel? Yes, you can, you can continue. Oh, please. okay. Thank you. All right. So let's see. That was uh, what you did. Then uh, you wrote some sentences about people in your company and their position using the word in the pod number two. Um, I want to hear that. Daniel and Ezekiel, could you please tell me to read your example? If you want, give me one example. Uh, the first one is 
the benefit consultant works in full time for from Monday to Friday. Wow, good job, Ezekiel, perfect. All right, Amilcar, could you please share with us one, one sentence in the part number four? Uh, the match teacher uh, teaches um, advanced match to the university. Advanced math. Oh, okay, very good. Good job. Perfect. All right. Uh, Stefania, do you have your one of the sentences you can share with us? Um, let's see. Sabrina, could you share one of your sentence? Tiene que ser aquí. Acá. Porque no ando carga. Sabrina. Hello, sorry teacher. What did you say? My, could you please my, share one function. sentence? Don't worry. Could you please share with us one sentence that you brought? Yes. Um, I wrote, uh, Raul is the recruiting coordinator in my company. Good job. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Um, Jaime, could you please share with me one of the sentences that you wrote? Sure. Um, the admission department to attend a new student and show the installation of the pool. Okay. Very good. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much for uh, doing these exercises. Um, then uh, we, we have another conversation here. And this conversation, guys, is basically this. All right, let me make sure we did it already. No, we didn't, we haven't done this. So this is the page 33, I believe. Yes, page page 33 we will solve the page 33 go to the conversation guys and guys in the page 33 and then practice we will go ahead and practice this conversation first of all let's listen to the pronunciation of this conversation and then you will go ahead and um repeat it or practice this conversation with your own names okay all right, so this conversation will be done in the following way, way, guys. First of all, we will go ahead and practice it, and then you will practice it with your pair here in the class. And um, we will go ahead and try to hmm, role play this conversation, okay? So let's listen to the, to the pronunciation because later on you will practice it, okay? All right, it says, good morning, this is Mr. Perez. If you want, let's repeat after me, all right? Repeat after me. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. You will personalize it and you will say, good morning, this is Mr. Mancia, all right? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> let's repeat after me. Good morning, this is Mr. Mancia. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Mancia. Mr. Mancia. Hello, Mr. Hello, Mr. Mancia. This is Lisette. I have just come in. Hello, Mr. Mancia. Hello, Mr. Mancia. This is Lisette. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Lisette. Your um welcome to our company, Lisette. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? Yes, 
You're welcome. You're now the person training. I'm afraid I don't, sir. I'm afraid I don't, sir. Sorry. Afraid I don't, sir. Afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you first. Okay, okay. Well, let me explain this first. first. So basically, Mr. Pretis, um would like to explain the procedures to request training, right? So he will explain this, and I would like to tell I would like to ask you what is Mr. Mancia? Sorry, <laughs> what is Mr. Mancia's role in the company, guys? Oh, Sorry? Yes, um, Is this the interviewer of no? human resources? Uh huh. It is a human person from man human research. Let's mm, see. Seem... Yes, I believe that this is a person uh, that is in charge of a schedule, the trainings, right? So it's part of the human resource. Yes. Do you know the exactly the name of the person? No, I mean the the, the recruitment coordinator. Very good, the recruitment coordinator. Very good. So, uh, what do you think is going to happen next, guys? Because it says, okay, let me explain this to you first. What do you think that is going to happen next to this sentence? Going to HR generalist. Okay. They will go to the HR generalist. All right. And what do you think that um, they are going to do in the conversation? Uh, their training. His training. Um, yes. I mean, what they are doing, uh, what they will do, sorry, is that they will go ahead and uh, they will, ex I mean, he will explain the procedures to request training. That's what they will do. And then she will go to training, right? So guys, this is what we'll do right now. I will ask you to practice this conversation. I would like to start with um, Marcos Antonio Melgar. Marcos Antonio Melgar, could you please um, practice this conversation with um, Amilcar? Marcos Amilcar Mancia. So this, yeah. is, this is the thing. Guys, I want you to please to practice this conversation bad at crying, okay? Crying. This conversation, crying. You, you will go ahead and role play this conversation, but if you're crying, guys, okay? You need to act. Ustedes son actores ahorita. Van a, a practicar esta conversación llorando. Right? Crying. Yes? Yes, Marcos Antonio. Cry. All right? Okay. <laughs> so you will be the actors. And then uh, we will have more people to practice this in different moods. All right? <laughs> all right. Let's do it, guys. Ready? Ready, teacher. Perfect. Teacher, I didn't, I didn't hear. <laughs> Sorry. My internet doesn't work very well. Don't worry, Serena. What are they, we going to do? Marcos. Why are we Marcos going to cry? Marcos, Marcos and Marcos, right now, they will practice this uh -huh. conversation by crying. And then Sabrina and Daniel Ezequiel <laughs> will practice the conversation laughing. Okay? Ha, 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 laughing. All right? I like right. the idea. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. But you need to keep it like that, all right? You need to keep it. Keep it like that, all right? So, the let's see. The the couple, uh, I mean, the, the pair that, that do it better will receive. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, this is the thing. The pair that do it better, guys, will go ahead and choose a game that we will do it after this activity, all right? They will perform a game for us, all right? They will manage, they will handle a game, a dynamic, all right, for us. 
Eh, el premio para el que lo haga mejor, la pareja que lo haga mejor, va a ser que esa pareja, él va, va a ser los teachers de la clase por 10 minutitos y en esos 10 minutos ellos nos van a poner a hacer un, una, una actividad, ¿verdad? Un, un, un juego que a ellos se les ocurra, no sé, una dinámica, etc. ¿Sí? Así que pues vayan pensando que, pueden, que, que, que podemos jugar, ¿verdad? Right? En 10, 10 minutos, 10 minutos. Y eso es lo que van a, van a ganar, que ustedes van a dominar la clase. You will handle, manage the class, sorry, for 10 minutes. So, <clears throat> let's start. Ready, Marcos? Marcos, yeah. Marcos, es. Marcos, and Mar Marcos, one of Marcos. Marcos, is. yes. Marcos is. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're crying, Marcos, remember? <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. voy, a, voy a calentar. Okay, okay, let's start. Ready? I start, yeah. One, two, three, start. Good morning. This is Mr. ¿Cómo se llama el apellido de, de Marco? Mancia. Good morning, this is Mr. Mancia. Hello, Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is. This is. Aquí sería él, verdad, teacher? Yes, va. Yes, so. Let's start again. Marcos, crying, Mr. crying, Marcos Antonio. Mm -hmm. Ok. Estoy llorando, los dos. Llorando, guys. Lloren. Vale, lo que no <laughs> Después de aquí van para la Rosa de Guadalupe. <laughs> <laughs> Llorar a moco tendido. Ajá, ok, let's do it, pues. Ok, let's do it. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. This is Mr. Mancia. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Marcos. I have just come in. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to to our company, Jackie. I have just come in. Voy a llorar de verdad. Continue. He's crying. Right. Thanks a lot, sir. You, you welcome. Do you do you know the pro pro okay? procedure? Request training. I am afraid. I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain. This is your first. Okay, thank you. Wow. Are you done? Por qué me dejó, <laughs> Very oh. good. I run up plus for them, guys. Good job. Great. All right. Ok, uh, guys, ustedes van a decidir. Después me mandan los nombres de quienes lo hicieron mejor al grupo. Todos vamos a votar, ok. Todos me mandan los nombres de las personas que lo hicieron mejor después. Así que vayan ahí anotando, pónganle, vayan poniéndole nota, ok. Good, all right, Sabrina and Ezekiel, you're laughing, okay? Teacher, if your responsibility, if my family think that I am crazy, okay? They But want because every, everyone is here. I don't. <laughs> don't worry, your family is no. Yes, don't worry, <laughs> Sabrina. Okay. I already talked to them. With With Daniel, Daniel. All right, yes, Daniel is here. Let's do it. Daniel. Sabrina, you're star. I start. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Ezekiel. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Mr. Álvarez. 
I am your uh, your company. You are part of our family now. <laughs> There's a lot here. <laughs> You're welcome. Do you know the procedure to request training? <laughs> I'm afraid I don't, sir. <laughs> okay, let me explain this to you first. Ay, no, teacher, definitivamente nos hemos hecho para Hollywood. <laughs> Daniel lo hizo super bien. How to say I'm afraid laughing. <laughs> Very good. Good job. All right, guys. Hmm. Vean ahí who, who's, who is winning. Who's winning. Very good. All right. So let's see. Definitely Marcos and his cry. <laughs> Osvin and Daniel Arquímedes. Okay. Osvin, uh, you start, and Daniel, you go next. You're angry, okay? Angry. Angry. Angry, okay. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> I know angry. you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> But póngase I try, lado, I try. Daniel, póngase de lado angry, como que... Okay, le voy a decir cómo. Good morning. Como que mire, como que le acaban de arruinar su diseño y lo tenía que presentar ahorita, se lo arruinaron. Pensá se lo en Lisset, pensá en Lisset, Daniel. ¿Vale? No. Como que, guys, como que le arruinaron su diseño, su último diseño. Y, y ahorita lo iban a presentar y se lo acaban de arruinar. ¿Qué? Se lo comió okay. el perro. I don't know, se, se mojó. I don't know, something like that. Yeah. O si lo trabajan digital, se le borró el documento. No lo grabé. Mm -hmm. Ok, let's do it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Bye. Who is Mr. King? Who is Perez? Who is Jack? Osvin Star. Osvin. Mr. Perez Osvin. is Osvin. Ok. Ok. Good morning. <laughs> Mr. Asquiri, this is <laughs> the winner. The winner. Good, mor good morning. This is Mr. Flores. Mm, okay. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Flore Flores. This is Daniel. I just have come in. Welcome to the company, Daniel. Your company, you are part of our family now. That's a lot. Thanks a lot, you, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedure? Procedures? Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> procedures to request training. I am afraid. I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this this to you first. <laughs> you were angry. It's very okay. good. Oh. <laughs> good job. <laughs> okay, <laughs> very good. <laughs> okay, okay, let's see. You. Let's go with Maven. And uh, Fatima, are you there, Fatima? Yes, teacher. Okay, Fatima, we are practicing this conversation and we are doing it like in different moods, okay? So Mabel and you will be doing it. Oh my God. Let's see, shouting, all right? Shouting like, good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez, I like shouting, okay? Gritando. Yes, ready? Okay. Perfect, let's do it. Okay, teacher. Uh, okay. Good morning. This is Mrs. Aguilar. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Mabel. This is Jackie. I just has I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks, thanks a lot. Sir. You're welcome. 
do you know the producers? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> procedures. I'm sorry. Procedures to request training? I'm afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you first. <laughs> Very good. A round of applause for you guys. Oh my God, you are good actress. Actresses. Very good. Okay, let's go with Jaime and um, Julio, Julio Cesar Merino Gonzalez. Okay, so guys, you will be doing this like a poem. You will read it like a poem. Estuviera leyendo un poem, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, you start, Jaime. Hey. Good morning. This is Mr. Avelar. Hello, Mr. Perez. Is is this is Jax. I have a good comment. Yeah. Welcome, welcome to your company, Julio. Your company, you are part of our, our family now. Thanks a lot, Sil. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid. Afraid I don't share. Okay, let me explain this to you <clears throat> first. Mm. <laughs> I was, I was waiting for more. Very good, guys. Wonderful. Good poem. Okay, very good. So let's see. Let's go with Ezekiel. Did you? Oh, you already, you already did it. Um. Oh my God. Lisette. Lisette. Let me, let me see, guys, sorry. Julio did it, uh, Lizette, okay, Osmin, Fatima, Luis. Luis, are you a listener? Are you still a listener? Okay, Lizette and Angel Estefania. Here, teacher. Okay, Angel Estefania and Lizette will be the last, okay? The last participants. Girls, you will sing, okay? You will read this conversation singing, okay? Cantando, singing. Okay. Cantando se me da, teacher. Ah? <laughs> Cantando se me da. You will do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I know you can, guys. Okay. Lizette, you start. Okay. Uh, good morning, this is Mary Perez. Hello, Miss Lizette. This is Stephanie. I, I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Chachi. Your company, you are a part of family now. Thanks a lot, Miss. You're welcome. You, do you know the process of this training? I am afraid I don't. I don't miss. Okay, let me link this to this to you first. Very good. Okay, girls. Thank you very much. All right. So, guys, time is uh, time is up for you to send me the names of the people who did it the best. Okay. Mándame el nombre de las personas que lo hicieron mejor. Y tenemos hasta las nueve para que ellos hagan una actividad. All right. I dancing. 
Uh, will you do? Will you send me the 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 name of the people, guys? The name of people o las parejas que lo hicieron bien para ustedes. Mándenme el nombre y quienes lo hicieron mejor en el chat de de WhatsApp. Y voy a pasar la 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 attendance list mientras tanto, ¿ok? Mándenme, please, en los nombres de que ustedes creen que ganaron, ¿ok? Right? Todos, votemos, guys. Let's see, today is Friday. Ok, Ángela Estefanía Marroquín Martínez, guys. Present teacher. Cristian José López Pérez. Present. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present teacher. Daniel Isiquiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jennifer Noemí Mata Aragón. Present. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Uh, let's see. Jessica. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jonathan Alexis González Torres. Present teacher. Julio César Merino González. Present. Julio César Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Kenny Lizette Cuer de Barrientos. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Marcos Amir Carmancía Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Erazo. Present teacher. Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero. Present teacher. Oswin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present. Sabrina Lizet García Orellana. Present. Lizeth del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Ok, perfect. Let's see, guys. Um, oh my God, Marcos and Marcos, Marcos. We have three for Marcos, right? Three points for Marcos. <laughs> Three points for Marcos and Marcos. I didn't send a message. All right, we have uh, one, two, three. Yes, exactly three. And then we have Estela and Fatima. Uh, two, two, two points. Okay, three points. Mandenlo, please, guys. Oh, Sabrina, let's see. Jaime and Julio, we have one, two. All right. And then we have Sabrina and Daniel. We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We have a winner, right? We have two winners, sorry. And they are Sabrina and Daniel Ezekiel, okay? You are the winners, guys. Sabrina and Ezekiel. Okay, Sabrina and Ezekiel, you have right now until 9.05. Until 9.05, a round of applause for them. Until 9.05. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Okay, We won the Oscar, we won the Oscar. We won the Oscar. Así, ¿verdad? Ajá, continúen riéndose. Sí, literal, no. ¿verdad? And the winner is Sabrina and Ezekiel. Ajá. ¡Uh! Pues sí, está. Sí. Qué bueno. Good job. All right. Choose an activity, Ezekiel and Sabrina. Mándense un mensajito ahí en el chat de, de, de Zoom para ponerse de acuerdo. 
¿Qué actividad quieren que hagamos nosotros sus estudiantes el día de ahora? ¿Qué vamos a jugar? Acuérdense que el tiempo es oro porque tiene hasta las 9 y 5. What do you think, Daniel? <risa> Chira, tú esto, no sé cómo se dice en inglés. Um, that would be like, I don't know. Um, that's a good question, but it was going to be keeping the stop there. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, in the corner red, Sabrina, in the corner blue, Daniel. Ah. Uh, Fly. <laughs> let's see. I believe it's like. Uh, I don't know how to say uh, ahorcado. Up. Ahorcado. <laughs> I don't know. Ahorcado. Ahorcado. lo de bachillerato stop, but, but you can say hangman. Ahorcado. Hangman. Head. Hangman. Hang en bachillerato stop, I don't know, guys. Um, I, I'm investigating because I. Stop the bus, dice. Stop the bus, se supone que se llama. Stop the bus or next stop, high school, algo así se llama. Ahorcado es más fácil y más rápido, y más rápido también. Ok. Ok, ahorcado entonces. Ok. Until die. <laughs> how, would, how do we play, uh, teachers? I am a student, I don't know. <laughs> Daniel, I, don't know, I don't know how to share the piece, the, the board. Do you have a board? Okay, let me make uh, you a host, okay? Okay. Sabrina, think in a word. Okay. An easy word. How yeah. do you say acido desoxirribonucleico in English? <laughs> <laughs> no. Daniel, you are the host. <laughs> Okay. New new board. No me deja hacer la board. Abrir y colaborar. Dice. Me da un error. Really? Código de error 7 dice. Uh, let me see if I can go ahead and Me puede dar el host de nuevo. Y sí que lee el clic derecho y me selecciona a mí como host. Thank you. Ah, ok, ahí, voy a ah, compartirlo okay. yo y creo que sí se va a poder porque se puede hacer colaborativo. Ah, ok. What okay. word, Sabrina? Do you see the screen? Yes. Oh, I have a pen. <laughs> no sé si pueden. I think eh. that if you are going to draft, you you sh you choose the the word because I, I don't know how to tell you. Sin que oiga. <laughs> In, In the, the chat. chat. In the chat. You can. Here. You chat. can. Pero let's modify choose. the option. Ajá. Uh -huh. Choose Josie Ezekiel. Okay. Instead of all okay. participants, Ezekiel. Okay, guys, we're ready. Let's participate, guys. Sabrina, what word? Can I send it to you? Let me check. Oh, it's easy. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, I don't know how to shape is. I know. Where is the race? Ah, like, yes. Let's. Okay. Let me check.
Okay, that's the word. The other one, choose a letter. Okay, guys, choose a letter. You you can choose a person to say a letter. M. M as in mother? M, mother. M, M, mother. M, M All right. mother. All right. Yes, we have a M, M. Good. A M. We have a letter A. Okay, letter A. Wait, wait. Uh, mm. I think it's on a space before. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Here is the M. The M. What is the letter A? Ah, see you on a member. Ay, no, soy, soy malo en Ten el... space, ten space. Ah, oh, ya tengo space. Ahí está, ok. Ahí está. Ah, uh, must be, choose, choose another letter. Guys, okay. choose another letter. Sí, sí, tomadero. Por tomadero. Yes, we have a T. Wow, good job. Another letter, guys? Ese es un cementerio, teacher. <laughs> no. Marcos, say a letter. Hurry up, guys. We have just three minutes. Let's participate, Marcos. Oh. Oh. Okay. You're right. Wow, you are so ah. good, guys. <laughs> Fatima, yes. uh, Fatima, thank you. Uh, Julio Cesar Merino, a letter. Maggie, give us a letter. W A. W A. A. W A. W. W. I yes here. A. A and W. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I really want that. Se fijaron que, pero envié el mensaje en privado. Para el Melo. Melo. Yes. Lo envié en privado. Yes. Yes. Is that what it really? Wow, yes. very it's good. It's watermelon, but uh, Sabrina, it's other, Sabrina. other words. No me gusta jugar con ustedes. It's in the other words. <laughs> other yeah, letters. The last the word. Champions. Okay, the, la the last word, guys. Yeah, the last word. The last Sorry, letter. Sorry, Mabel, no la habíamos visto. Si se puede. The last, the last word, guys. La última palabra. Que sea short, please. I don't know what word. Mm. Okay. Five. Okay, great. Okay, guys, give us a give us five letters. Another word. No será muy divertido para Pepe. A. A. Yes. Daniel, Jessica, a letter, hey. please. Marcos Amilka, a letter. Lisette, uh, I, a letter. The I, R. R? I. Okay. R. I and R. I, uh, 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 I like R, a, no. Oh my God. And oh, what about I? I? No. <gasps> Oh my God. Another Ooh. one, Jaime. DM. DM, okay. D as in uh, diamond M. and M. M as in mother or N? E-M. L. E-L. 
What about E and L? E and L. E and L. What about L? Who say who say D? The, the diamond. I don't remember. A. Hey. Because it's it's an D. Here. Okay, put the D there. Too late. <laughs> Is he kiss? All right, Marcos, give us a letter. Oh, it's a letter? Ah, empiñada. Venden uh -huh. en los parques. I like uh -huh. an empiñada, but it's not empiñada. <laughs> <laughs> Who put the, eh, en el chat? Alguien puso. No, yes, nobody. Sí, Mabel puso, Mabel puso y ahí que es. Oh, Candy. All right. You're so good, guys. Very good. Good job. Yes. A round of applause for you. You did an amazing activity. Good job, guys. All right. So let's continue with the class then. <laughs> All right. Let me continue uh, sharing. Guys, let's continue completing the pages from the 33 until the 36, okay? I will share the screen with you. All right, let's go to this page and this page is the 34, okay? Go to the page 34, guys, please. So here we have the famous procedures to request the training. Those were the procedures that Mr. Perez was uh, was to explain, was going to explain to Jackie, okay? All right, so those are the procedures. Let's go ahead and uh, let's see, read the procedures, all right? Read the procedures. We will say, I will go ahead and say the name of the next person to read it. Let me start, okay? The procedures to request training are first, number one, first, well, just first, first, Choose the training you are interested on. Listen on the bulletin board. Um, Daniel Arquimis, could you please go to the second one and then choose the next person? Okay. Check with the talent management consultant if you can take the training. Choose another person. Let me see. Ezekiel. Ezekiel number three. I have to read it. Yes, please. Send a note requesting your part participation. Choose another person. Uh, Oswin. All right. Oswin. the name of the training you need. Choose another person. Jaime. Jaime. Jaime, number five. Sorry, my microphone's on. Um, number five, specify the date and hours of instruction. All right, choose another person, Jaime, please. Okay, Sabrina. Sabrina, number six. Mention the place where the event will take place. Mabel? Mabel, thank you. Thank you, Sabrina. Okay, uh, specify the price of the training. Choose another person, please. Uh, Julio Merino. Julio Merino? Thank you. Thank you, my man. Make sure to include it and the information request. Choose the because, last person. Thank yes, you. Tinet Marcos. Marcos. Antonio Marcos. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, other, other Julio. Hi. Hi, teacher. Other Julio. Oh, Julio. Julio, Julio, Julio. Julio. Other Julio. Thank you. Oh, he is a listener. Sorry. Hi, okay, Marcos will do it. Marcos Antonio. Thank you. Okay. Is 
this information is missing in the note, we will not authorize any training. Very good. Let's repeat after me, guys. Uh, interested on. Repeat after me. Interested on. Interested, um, interested on. Interested, interested on. on. Bulletin board. Bulletin board. Participation. 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 Good. Um, specify. 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 One more time. Specify. 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 Let's start with the sound. Hagan todos este sonido. Specify. Specify. Después de hacer este sonido, saquen la P. Specify. 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 It's not a specify, right? No, it's specify. 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 Source of instruction. Hours of instruction. Hours of instruction. Hours of instruction. Hours of instruction. Mention. 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 Event. 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 Requested. Requested. Authorized. 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 There you go. Authorized. Authorized. Mm -hmm. All right. We have the type of trainings here. Excellent customer serving, improving computer skills. Those are the type of training that you are supposed to choose, right? We have effective communication, learning about writing skills, organizing time, creating website, other. Guys, if you had the chance to go to one of these trainings, what would you, what would you prefer to go? If you had the chance to go to one of them, what would you like to go? A cual se inscribiría? A cual de sus trainings? Other. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another one. Creating website. One? Okay, creating website. Very good. Another another training, guys, that you would like to um subscribe. Organizing time. Managing time. Okay, very good. What else, guys? That's that's difficult for teachers. Effective communication. Effective com effective communication. Sorry, effective communication. Effective communication. Good yes. job. Another one. Need it. Learning Learning website. Website. Reading website. Yes, Julio. Learning about writing skills. Learning about writing skills. Very good. I love you. I love you. All right, perfect. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's see. Uh, use the information below to help a colleague, colleague to fill out the training note form. We have the training note here and we have the employee's name. So what you need to do right now, guys, is to use the information that you have here. Acá tenemos la información, ¿verdad? Esos son los, los steps to request the training. ¿Cómo usted va a, a, a solicitar un, un entrenamiento? Y aquí están los tipos de training que tenemos, ¿ok? Luego tenemos acá eh, uno de estos colaboradores, perdón, tienen, tienen ustedes un, eh, una pareja, uno, una este, pareja en el trabajo, ¿ok? Right? Un eh, compañero de trabajo y usted le va a ayudar a que pueda eh, llenar el training note, que es este, ¿verdad? Y este sería el employee's name. So what you will do is that you go ahead and, uh, I mean, take it into account this information. You will go ahead and help your classmate to fill out the training note. Le va a ayudar a que él pueda llenar este training note, ¿ok? Acá tenemos los eventos que hay, miren. Excellent customer service, improving computer skills. Y aquí están eh, 
la fecha que los van a dar, las horas, eh, el lugar y el price. ¿Ok? Entonces lo que van a hacer es llenar esta nota, que es de training, basada en la información que tenemos acá. ¿Ok? Price, place, hours of instruction, instruction, sorry, date and events. Let me see. Sorry that I stopped sharing. Perdón que dejé de compartir. Solamente quiero verificar algo, guys. Deme un segundo porque... Hmm. I just want to make sure because of the time. Si no, we will do this exercise tomorrow. <clears throat> porque necesito more, more time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. One moment. Ok, vamos a hacer lo siguiente, guys. Quiero ver. Ok, vamos a hacer lo siguiente en Sorry. Miren, vamos a seguir, vamos a saltar este pedazo y lo vamos a hacer tomorrow. Ok, por el tiempo. Vamos a ver ahorita el tema que tenemos el día de ahora, ¿ok? Que es el present progressive, ¿all right? So let me share the screen, sorry, vamos a hacer esa actividad tomorrow. Pero sí tenemos que cubrir este tema ahorita, because tomorrow, it's time no, teacher. <laughs> On Monday. <laughs> Thank you, on Monday. Yes. So, Monday. guys, no sean así, mañana tengamos clases. No mentiras. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have a conversation here and we have a conversation between Pedro and Max. All right. Pedro and Max. Pedrito, right? And Max. So um, they, are, they are having a conversation and uh, they are using present progressive. Okay. Later on, we will talk about present progressive. But let's go ahead and practice this conversation. Okay. So let's see, guys. I am going to be Pedro and you will be Max. All of you will be Max, okay? You will answer me. Yo voy a ser Pedro y todos ustedes van a ser Max, okay? Yeah. Todos, everyone. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Pedro Rijet. Good morning, Mr. Rijet. This is Max from Max. Max. How can I help you? Okay, Max. I have you. How can I help you? Hi, Max. I would like to have more information about Mauricio Sanchez. Okay. 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 What information do you need? What information do you need? We are checking on some references. We are planning to promote him as a manager. Mr. Sanchez, Mr. Sanchez does not have does any not earnings. Any and any the feedback earnings. we have about, about from his supervisor, supervisor is that, that he is that he responsible. responsible. I see. Do you consider he has what it is required at the managerial position? Sure. Yes, all right. Perfect. All right, thank you. Thank you very much for your help. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Very good, very good, guys. Okay, so as you see, Pedro is calling to know, like, to have some references about uh, who, about who, guys. Mauricio Sanchez, right? He's asking about Mauricio Sanchez. And he got good feedback, okay? Good feedback about Mauricio Sanchez because they are planning to promote him as a manager, right? So what do you think are some of Mr. Sanchez's qualities, guys? What do you think are uh, some Mauricio Sanchez's qualities? Based on the, on the conversation, what are some of the qualities that uh, Mauricio Sanchez has? Is responsible. He is responsible. Very good. What is the new role Mr. Sanchez will have at the company? Mr. Sanchez. No. Uh, okay. 
yung mga resources. No? Huh? What is the uh, What is the the question, teacher? Sorry. Yes. Um. What is the new role Mr. Sanchez will have at the company? Ah. Ah. Uh, the ma manager position. Okay. Yeah. Managerial position. Uh huh. He will be a manager, he right? He's a manager. Yeah. Perfect. And what do you think is Mr. Ch uh, sorry, what do you think is Mr. Sanchez's current role right now? What is um, the role that they have, Mr. Sanchez? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is the role that you believe that they have? ¿Qué rol podría tener ahorita, guys? Él. ¿Qué creen que qué rol creen que pueda tener? Operator. HR is HR is generalist. HR generalist, yes. Supervisor. Supervisor, uh huh. No. Oh no, right? Because he had well. He had. That is gonna be depending on 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 the on the place, right? I believe it's gonna no. be depending on the place that they work. Creo que va a depender de eso. Depende de la compañía donde esté trabajando, ¿verdad? Creo yo. Creo que yo que, que, yes. que depende. Sorry. Okay. Very good, guys. So, thank you very much. So, miren, guys, today we will learn about present progressive for ongoing actions. Okay? Uh, those present pro progressive for ongoing actions, guys, basically is whenever you're talking about ongoing situations. What is an ongoing situation, guys? ¿Qué es una situación ongoing in English? ¿Qué, de, ¿A qué se refieren, Craig, cuando hablamos de ongoing? Is is an action in, for example, you have, you touch, you have, you, you hear, mm -hmm. uh, or you you tell in your phone. Oh, great, perfect. Yes. Whenever you're touching your uh, your hair, yes. you're talking on the phone. The action yes. you're doing right now, right? Ongoing. Yes. Que está pasando yes. ahorita. Very the good. Present. The present. It's the present progressive. So guys, this is one of the uses that we have about simple present, okay? Este es uno de los usos que tenemos acerca de, uh, sorry, present progressive. Eh, present progressive también le llaman present continuous, ok, cualquiera de los dos, present continuous o present progressive, ¿sí? Así que pues se usa básicamente para hablar de lo que está pasando en este momento, de lo que usted está haciendo en este preciso momento, ¿verdad? Right? That's basically what it is, alright, so let's see. How do we make the present continue? Well, present continuous or present progressive? We use subject, verb, okay? El verbo tiene que ser en verb to be plus ing. You know already about the, the ing, right? ¿Cuál es el ing? ¿Quién me, who, who can give me an example about the ing, guys? Running. Running, okay. What else? Writing. Writing, perfect. What else? Dating. All right, perfect. Thinking. Thinking. Watching. <laughs> Watching. Uh -huh. Drinking. Yes, good job. Wonderful. Very good. Okay, so guys, uh, let's see. Eight. Eight. And then we have the complement, right? So an example is we are updating the information this week, okay? We are updating the information this week. The staff is planning to give him a promotion. Any negative statement, solamente le agregan el not after the verb be. Una cosa que les quiero decir, guys, es this ongoing uh, situation. Okay. El present progressive también se ocupa, guys. No solamente para las acciones que están ocurriendo en este momento. 
sino que también para las acciones, perdón, acciones que vienen en un futuro, ¿sí? Sirve también el present progressive para hablar acerca de un futuro cercano. Por ejemplo, al, el ejemplo que está ahí, los dos ejemplos. Ahorita no están actualizando, perdón, sí, no están actualizando la información, ¿verdad? Ahorita no, ¿sí? Pero dice, we are updating the information this week. Ellos están actualizando la información esta semana, ¿ok? No es que esté pasando en este mismo momento, pero está pasando toda esta semana, ¿verdad? Right? Second, the staff is planning to give him a promotion. Ahorita están planeando, pero no quiere decir que en este momento. También es para eso. Si yo digo, ok, guys, I'm thinking about, estoy pensando en este momento, right? Mm, I'm talking on the phone, right? Yes, etc. Pero también no quiere decir que es, este progressive actions puede ser un poquito largo el periodo y un poco corto. Un poco corto que ahorita pase ya, yeah, right? Pero es un, una acción progresiva, continua, ¿sí? Entonces, ¿cómo haríamos estos dos ejemplos en negativo, guys? Ajá. ¿Cómo los haríamos en negative form? We are in something, the information this weekend. We are? We aren't. We aren't. We are in yeah. we are not. the information this week, right? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, very good. Great. We aren't updating the information this week. What about the second one? How yeah. would you uh, make this the in, staff, in negative? Staff the staff isn't or oh, is not planning of planning to give staff, him the information. Uh -huh, exactly. The staff is not planning to give him the promotion. Good job. All right. Perfect. What about, guys, if we want to go ahead and make questions? Yes, no questions with this. Two examples. Como haría la yes, no question con esos dos ejemplos? Are we, Are we updating, updating the information this weekend? This weekend? Are we updating the information do, this weekend? Very good. What about in the second one? ¿Cómo harían en el, en el segundo? Is the staff planning the staff to give to him the promotion? promotion? Excuse me, guys. Very good. <laughs> good job. Perfect. We are on fire. You are on fire. Okay, let's see another one. How would you make these two affirmative sentences in WH question? Mm -hmm. Any WH question? Uh, when we are. When are you. Update, Go ahead. Update, <laughs> when, updating the, when we are updating the information. When, Jaime? When are yeah. when are updating the information we, this when weekend? When are we writing the information this weekend? Sorry. En la repregunta y la respuesta. <laughs> Once again. La respuesta. <laughs> Otra vez. Guys? When are we updating the information? Uh -huh. When are we updating when. the information? Who can answer that question? We are. Uh, <clears throat> Mm -hmm. We weekend. are the information, updating the information this weekend. Good job. Perfect. Okay. What about in the second one? How would you make a WH question in the second one? What is playing the stuff? The stuff what, is is planning, what is planning the what stuff? The stuff, yes. Aha, uh -huh, very good. What would be the answer, guys? What is planning the staff? The staff is planning. The staff is planning to give him a promotion. Amazing. Okay. Very good, guys. Is there anyone here that has questions about the negative, the affirmative, the yes, no question, or WH questions of the present continuous? Questions about the structure? Change the sense of the 
question if I say, mm -hmm. we are going to update the information this weekend? Yes, because this is another structure. This is another tense. Mm -hmm. We are going to update. What tense is this? ¿Cuál es el, 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 el tiempo que estamos viendo ahí? Future. Future. ¿Y cómo se llama ese tiempo? Uh, ese, ese future, ese, ese tiempo en futuro. El, go, el going to, guys. Este es el going to. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, probablemente, ahí la diferencia, Sabrina, es que usted me está diciendo que we are going to update. Nosotros vamos a actualizar la información. Mientras que si yo digo we are updating this information this week, es que en esta semana ya lo están actualizando. ¿Sí? Entonces cambia completamente la idea, ¿verdad? El tiempo en que se está haciendo. So this is a big difference. Uh -huh. um, what is more, sick, more sure? Que se haga. No. Ah, uh -huh. ok. Fíjense que muy bien. Muy buena, muy, buen, eh, muy buena pregunta. Y lo voy a decir esto en español, guys. El present for progressive para ongoing actions es la que se está haciendo básicamente ahorita, ¿verdad? La acción. Pero también el presente progresivo se utiliza como futuro. Eso ya lo vimos en un curso anterior. Se utiliza como futuro pero de algo 100% que se hace. Ahorita no lo estamos viendo como futuro, sino que con ongoing actions, algo que está pasando en este momento. Pero también se puede ocupar para una acción que vayamos a hacer en un futuro. ¿Ok? ¿Y, y cuál es wow. esa acción, teacher? Eh, por ejemplo, que usted está segurísimo que eso se va a hacer. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, a... Oh, sorry, si sí, quien usted tenía levantada la mano, díganos. In other countries, the train is in the station at uh, an hour. So that's a secure to the train pass. Oh, the train the train arrived in the station at, for example, 2 p.m. Ah. It's a present, present progressive. No, porque ahí me lo está haciendo en, en Simple Present. Usted me dice, the train arrives. Que es el tema que vimos en la clase pasada. ¿Se acuerda de los scheduled events? De los yes, scheduled yes. activities. Ajá, entonces esa es una scheduled activities. Esa es una actividad que ya está programada, ¿sí? Entonces, present progressive con ongoing situation se refiere a algo que está haciendo ahorita. O que está pasando en esta semana, en este año, algo que está pasando en el presente, pero es progresivo. No es como el simple present que usted solamente lo dice, es como que usted hace como repetitivo. Esto se mantiene. We like are updating even. the information this weekend. Sí, es algo que está pasando ahorita y es continuo, progresivo. Está sucediendo en el presente. Por eso se llama present progressive o present continuous. Pero también lo que dijo Sabrina, también el presente progressive se utiliza para futuro, ¿sí? Por ejemplo, guys, I am going, sorry, yes, I am going to the beach tomorrow. Les voy a dar otro ejemplo para que no se confundan con el going to, porque ahí yo solo dije, I am going, yo estoy yendo, yo estoy yendo a la, a la, a la playa mañana, ¿ok? Otro, uh, let's see, I am celebrating, I am celebrating My birthday tomorrow. Ok. Yo ya tengo todo planeado. Ya mañana tengo el pastel. Ya todo, todito ready para celebrarlo. A las 12 de la tarde los espero. Ok. <laughs> no mentiras. My, my, bird, my, bird, my birthday already passed on January. Pero ok. Yo ya tengo todo preparado y ese segurísimo pasa. Like 90%, 99%. Sí, un por ciento de posibilidad por si pasa algo, pero ok. Yo digo, I am celebrating my birthday tomorrow. Yo estoy celebrando mañana mi cumpleaños, ¿ok? Entonces, no ha pasado. No es un ongoing action porque no está pasando ahorita. Pero estoy diciendo que un futuro va a pasar. 99% que va a pasar. Es más que el going to, Sabrina. 
Porque si yo lo dijera en going to, dijera, I am going to celebrate my birthday tomorrow. I am going to celebrate. I am going to walk. I am going to study, etc. Entonces usted le agrega el going to y el going to. Working hard. Uh -huh. El going to es algo planeado, pero es más seguro el otro. ¿Sí? Esa es la diferencia, Sabrina. Pero ahorita el present Thanks. progressive, los, you're welcome. Lo estamos viendo, guys, como ongoing action. O sea, algo que está sucediendo en este momento o en un periodo de tiempo un poco largo. Pero ¿qué está sucediendo ahorita? Tal vez no ahorita están planeando, ¿verdad? Porque van a hacerlo en su tiempo de trabajo. Pero en esta semana ellos están actualizando esa información. ¿Sí? Y si yo usara el will, I will. Oh, muy bien. Entonces, ese will, tenemos tres opciones para, des, para, para nosotros expresar un futuro. Yo sé que todavía no hemos visto mucho el futuro, pero una es el a going to, que ya lo vimos, ¿verdad? En la otra es el present progressive, ¿ok? El present progressive es más seguro que pase. ¿Se acuerdan que les dije que es más seguro que pase? Entonces, el present progressive es más seguro que pase. El menos, el que va como descendiente es el going to. Y el will, Marcos, es para promesas. O para algo que usted no está muy seguro si va a pasar. O para algo que usted acaba de decir, como que usted me, dice, me diga, teacher, voy a ir mañana. Pero usted lo dijo en este momento y no está seguro si va a ir a la fiesta. Okay. Entonces, <risas> y usted dice, I will go tomorrow, ¿ok? pero no estamos seguros. Entonces, ese will ustedes lo pueden ocupar como que algo que de repente usted lo diga, solo por decirlo, ¿verdad? pero usted no está seguro que va a pasar, la verdad. Usted va a decir, como que usted diga, it will rain today, y no tiene pruebas que va a llover, solamente puede decir que va a llover, ¿verdad? Entonces, algo así, y también si usted, lo, usted también se utiliza, el will se utiliza para promises, para alguna promesa. Usted me dice, teacher, I promise, I will pass, I will pass the exam. Le prometo que voy a pasar el, el examen. Ok, I, I, I promise I will. Entonces el will se utiliza para futuro como promesa y para algo que usted no está muy seguro que va a pasar. Pero lo dijo en ese momento, solo por decirle, pero no sabe si al final lo va a hacer o no, pero en futuro lo quiere decir. ¿Sí? O sea, ¿Qué es más? Yes, pero es going to. Es más certero el present progressive como futuro. Y el going to es como algo planeado. ¿Sí? No estamos viendo el futuro, okay. pero ustedes me metieron en este tema. Um, y quería aclararlo, okay. ¿verdad? No porque estamos hablando del present progressive. Pero qué bueno que lo traen acá para que ustedes sepan ya la diferencia, ¿verdad? Entre esos tres. En un futuro lo vamos a ir viendo uno por uno, no se preocupen. So, present progressive, guys, ongoing actions. Algo que está pasando progresivamente. ¿Sí? ¿Estamos bien ahí? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, guys, write sentences using the present progressive form of the verb uh, in parentheses. Okay? Let me guess. Tenemos algunos verbos. Ustedes lo van a poner en ING y van a ocupar el presente progressive para hacer oraciones. Luego, guys, let's write seven line, a seven-line paragraph about the activities you are doing these days. Use present progressive. Fíjense lo que dice acá. Escriban un párrafo de siete líneas acerca de las actividades que ustedes están haciendo estos días. Ustedes comenzaron, digamos, el lunes, ayer, el miércoles. ¿Qué actividades ustedes están haciendo? ¿Están haciendo qué? Okay? escribiendo un poema, están haciendo un reporte del trabajo, pero esa actividad no ha finalizado. Probablemente va a finalizar el fin de semana, pero ustedes lo están haciendo. Entonces, una acción progresiva o continua que ya haya empezado en un pasado, todavía lo están haciendo. Van a escribir actividades que ustedes están haciendo estos días, ¿ok? Y vamos a hacer present progressive uh, sentences. Vas usando esos verbos que tenemos acá. ¿Estamos sí. bien con la actividad que vamos a hacer, guys? ¿Questions? Sí. ¿Yes? I am, I am on vacation. <laughs> ah, ah, ay, what, are the, what activities are awesome. I writing? 
I don't know. You're doing exercise. No, 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 you can write this. You can write it. You can write it down. Okay. Gracias. Gracias, <laughs> no, it's fine. Okay, guys. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and do this. First of all, let's make this uh, sentences, ¿ok? Six sentences acá con el ING. Vamos a hacerlos, ¿ok? Vamos a hacerlo acá en el, uh, en el room y luego va a ser el paragraph. Tenemos hasta las, antes de las 10 para hacerlo, ¿ok? Let's start doing it. And any question, let me know, ¿ok? Questions or no questions? Y eso que está en paréntesis, lo vamos a, a, dijo que lo íbamos a poner con ING, ¿verdad? Sí, son los verbos que se va a estar utilizando. Uh -huh. Planning, planning, algo así. Exacto.
guys, uh, once you finish, could you please send me a photo in the WhatsApp group? Once you finish, in the first part. Una vez finalizan la primera parte, me mandan una foto en el WhatsApp. And once you finish the second part, you can send me a photo as well in the WhatsApp, please. Okay, guys, I can see you have already shared with me some uh, sentences. Do not forget the question. Um, do not forget to put period at the end, guys, and uh, also capital letter at the beginning, okay? No se olviden del punto y el capital letter al principio, okay? Mm hmm I am sending an email to my parents, okay? I am, Ezekiel, I am planning my schedule for this week. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. All right. Very good. They are checking when the movie is. Esa no le entiendo mucho, sorry, Mabel. Mm -hmm. Creo mm -hmm. que no, no, no. I believe it's not correct, but I'm trying to, to do. Ah, okay. It's present yeah. continuous, but it's not. Uh, Complete. Present. <laughs> no, sorry. it's fine. I am checking. Solamente póngale un complemento. Mm -hmm. Very wow. good, guys. Present progressive is not complicated, right? It's easy, I believe, guys.
guys, I will go through the attendance list right now. Okay, voy a pasar la lista ahorita, guys. Ángel Estefanía Marroquín Martínez. Cristian José López Pérez. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present teacher. Daniel Ezequiel Álvarez Mejía. Present teacher. Estela Mabel Orellana del Cid. Present teacher. Jaime Antonio Velar Cortés. Present. Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Jennifer Noemi Mata Aragón. Jessica del Carmen Vázquez Vázquez. Jessica. Jonathan Alexi González Torres. Present teacher. Julio César Merino González. Julio César Ramírez Present. Arevalo. Thank you. Present teacher. Kenny Lisset Cuellar de Barrientos. Present teacher. Linda Magali García Montoya. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Gómez García. Present teacher. Luis, can you stay in the one on one session today? Luis? Puede ser el lunes, teacher. Ok. Let's see. Marcos Amil Carmancia Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Marcos Antonio Melgar Pérez. Present teacher. Marielo Janet Cornejo Razo. Present teacher. Usted, Mariela, si pudiera quedar el día de ahora en la sesión de uno a uno. No, teacher. No, ok. Eh, Marina Vanessa Vázquez Romero, creo que ya se quedó. No, Present teacher. no right? Hello, teacher. Todavía no nos hemos, no hemos hecho la sesión de uno a uno. Yes, yes. Sí, verdad, um, me recuerdo yes. que... Yesterday, right. yesterday. How, how do you say antier? <laughs> uh, the day before yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. All right. And Osbin? Osbin Alexis Flores Enriquez FM. puede. Yes. Podría. Ok, Osbin, ¿se puede quedar conmigo ahora? Yes, teacher. Ten minutes. Thank you. Si necesita algún repaso, práctica, piénselo y lo hacemos ahora. Ok, Osbin. Ok. Sabrina Lisset uh, García Orellana. Present. Seth del Carmen Hernández Miss Smith. Present. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Ok, perfect guys. Ok, five more minutes to finish guys. I don't know my name. Christian. Yes. Christian Josué López Pérez, si lo mencioné. Present. Thank you. Está dormido, por eso no escucho. Sí. Yes. Es despertable. Dice que sí, mire. He estado enfermo, Christian. No, tiche. Está de vacaciones. Está dormido. Allá en Spain. Really? Yes, really. Oh, okay. Now, here is 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Yes, when the class start at four. At four. Wow, I didn't know, Christian. You didn't tell me that. But uh, thank you for sharing, okay? I hope you, you're doing great in your... Because, because he's the boss, the school paid the occasion mm -hmm. in Spain. Wow. <laughs> me siento ahorita un poco envy. De la buena, envy. Pero that's good. No regañe tanto a Jaime, oye.
Solo por eso me va a regañar que terminando la Ay, clase. Ay, Dios, ¿para qué dije, verdad? <risa> Cabal. Cabal. <risa> no, de, 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 de las clases. Lo regañó. Ahí... <risa> no, mentira, estoy bromeando. De las clases. De, de, de clases start 3 a.m. Because I was in a isla canaria. Wow. Pero qué bueno que está disfrutando, Cristian. Yes. Y después de eso, duerme un rato más, ¿no? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Hope you can enjoy it. Ya decía yo que Cristian, ¿qué le pasará a Cristian? Yo pensé que estaba enfermo. No, no. Es muy difícil. Es muy difícil porque, por ejemplo, the day is very long. The night, the night mm. is start at 11. Mm. Yes. Yes, it's different, right? It's very different. Guys, let me know whenever you finish, please. Send me the photo. Okay, guys, the time is over. All right, time is over. Los que pudieron mandarme la eh, foto. Thank you, guys. I will continue to check them out. And for the ones that are missing, creo que vamos a dejar la segunda parte del paragraph para Monday. Okay. Nada más me mandan la primera parte. Si ya terminado la segunda parte, pues mucho que mejor. Pero me mandan la otra parte on Monday, si quieren. Y yo sigo revisando la primera parte. Okay. So I don't know, guys, if you have any other questions so far. Uh, about the class, tienen preguntas? Mm, thank you, Sabrina. Se ya finalizó la última parte también, right? Thank you. Yes, Julio. Very good. All right. Thank you, Mabel. Thank you, guys. So, do you happen to have any questions so far about the class? Questions about present continuous, guys? No? No questions? All right. Since, no, we, don't have, since we don't have any questions, solamente me ayuda Osmin. You stay here. I hope that you have an amazing weekend, guys. And thank you very much for joining on time, okay? And for being on the class, participating. You did an amazing job today and good night. Take care, guys. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye, -bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye, -bye. Good night. Bye, Bye, teacher. Bye, -bye. Happy Monday. weekend. Bye, -bye. Have a nice See you Monday. Day.
Hello, hello, Osvin. How are you? Have a good night, Kelly. Bye-bye. Hello, hello, Osvin. How are you? Hello, Osvin. How are you today? Great, thank you. That's great. Well, uh, Osvin, welcome. Um, and I want to tell you that this is space is created for you to go ahead and uh, tell me if you have any feedback, any comment about the class, anything that you would like to practice more in the class, or you believe that uh, you need more explanation or you need uh, more practice or you need to reinforce a topic, I can help you right now to reinforce this topic if you wish or anything that you think that I can, that believe, I can help you. Mm -hmm. I believe it's, it's great. Uh, I understand and, and practice a lot of in, the, in your class. Great. Um, it's interesting because I, I learn a lot of. Um, I need to practice more too. All right. Were you before in Inglés Corporativo? Did you no. study here before? No? No, I, I stay in the passing in, in the IRCA. Oh, really? Yes. Great. I, I was working for a long time at IRCA uh, right now because um, uh, I, I'm taking a break. That's what I'm not, I'm not there. But I have yeah. been teaching at ITCA since a long time. Uh, it, uh, I stay in the um, about um, well, seven years or seven years ago. Really? That's a long time. Very good. Yeah. And yes, that's uh, why you have yes. that, that fluency. Yes, I forgot. I forgot uh, um, several expressions, several words. Uh, vocabulary, but mm -hmm. um, I, I start uh, studying English because I need, I need to refresh my English. Yes, that's, that's pretty much the main reason, right? You, you, you want to continue like learning and practicing. Well, we are happy to have you here and nice to know that you are enjoying the classes. You are learning a lot. Believe me, Osbin, that made me feel good. And I would like to know if there is by any chance, Osbin, um, anything that I can help in your skills because we have the, the four skills. We have listening, writing, and speaking, writing, uh, reading, sorry. I don't know if there is a challenge, uh, challenging a skill so that I can give you tips or that I can help you in any skill that is difficult for you. Me perdí un poquito, pero entendí como que si me quiere ayudar más en alguna área. Exacto. Yo quisiera saber si hay algún skill que le está costando ahorita. ¿Qué es lo que podríamos hacer? ¿Cómo le podría ayudar tal vez a darle algún consejo, alguna actividad que usted pueda hacer para, para que usted mejore sí. en esa área? ¿Cuál cree que, que tal yes. vez les puede costar? En el listening. ¿En el listening? Yes, it's, it's difficult for me listening. I, I can read, read the English, but listening is difficult for me. Yes, it, it, it is because listening is a little bit complicated. Uh, it was one of the difficult skills for me as well. And it is because we are not in an English environment. That's the reason why it's difficult for us. But also being, um, for listening, I do have a website that I always, uh, that I will always use whenever I was uh, at the university. It helped me a lot. De verdad me ayudó muchísimo. Porque fíjese que realmente el listening es bien, es bien difícil desarrollarlo por completo. Porque nosotros estamos en una sociedad realmente que no practicamos el inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. eh, es bien complicado porque no lo estamos escuchando diariamente. Entonces si nosotros lo estuviéramos escuchando diariamente fuera mejor, más diferente. Aprendiéramos más. 
Entonces, mi recomendación, Austin, es el website. Se lo voy a mandar ahorita. Súper bueno. Y lo que me gusta okay. es que habla de temas muy diferentes. ¿Verdad? La pronunciación del muchacho Randall, que se llama Randall, es súper buena. Y este, tiene ejercicios de listening. Un montón de ejercicios. Le da clic usted a uno de ellos. Cualquiera. Eh, luego le va a aparecer, déjeme ver, mmm, muchas actividades acerca de ese tema. Entonces es, es muy, muy sí. amplio. Eh, además de eso, Osbin, algo que le podría ayudar bastante, lo que todos le dicen, ¿verdad? <ríe> Me imagino que ya se lo han dicho, ver películas, series en inglés, escucharlas y poner el subtítulo en inglés también, para que vaya comparando, ¿verdad? La pronunciación y de esa manera usted va interiorizando el inglés, ¿verdad? Eso le va a ayudar más que todo si tiene alguien con quien practicar Osbin, alguna persona, eh, aunque no creo, pero tal vez alguna persona de acá no le recomendaría, pero si usted tuviera que una persona nativa del inglés, eso sería excelente. No todos tenemos la opción esa, eh, pero que hay muchas aplicaciones que incluso usted puede descargar en su teléfono que usted puede hablar con personas nativas, pero si tiene a alguien de verdad, y lo puede tener un, un tiempito ahí, de verdad, saque el jugo, como dicen, pues, para practicar, porque esa es la única manera, Osbin, la verdad, eh, practicando de los nativos, usted aprende demasiado, con el listening, ¿verdad? Con el listening, porque si usted escucha a los nativos, usted va a empezar a, de verdad, a aprender bastante. <coughs> Y le digo porque ese ha sido mi caso. Eh, el listening para mí era lo peor. Eh, realmente yo me recuerdo cuando entré a la universidad, yo me sacaba las peores notas del mundo en listening. Yo era súper buena para grama, pero listening, yo escuchaba y yo decía, yo no entiendo. Y yo no entendía, me quedaba bloqueada, porque pues sí, estaba empezando, ¿verdad? <coughs> y fue bien pero, frustrante pero, para pero, mí. Dígame, sí. Sí, eso es lo, lo, bien, lo complicado para mí también, porque yo siento que puedo leer en inglés, porque igual en el trabajo toda la información nos lo llega, nos lo, lo tenemos en inglés, ¿verdad? Y lo uh -huh. puedo leer uh -huh. y, y muchas veces puedo escribirlo, pero eso del listening sí. es bien complicado porque no... No, no eh, tiene mucha práctica, no ¿verdad? La, no existe la práctica. Exacto, la, eso es. Y la gente que llega a la empresa son, son coreanos, ¿verdad? Ellos hablan un inglés, pero eso, sí. no, como no es un inglés nativo, sino que igual lo han, lo han, lo han aprendido. Sí, es extra, ellos son extranjeros también, o sea, tienen el sí. idioma como, eh, bueno, no recuerdo, no sé muy bien si en Corea me imagino que tienen el inglés como segundo idioma o extranjero, pero igual, eh, creo que sí extranjero sería, ¿verdad? El inglés es el, el segundo idioma de ellos, extra, extranjero. Ah, no, bueno, entonces sería el inglés como segundo idioma. Sí. Igual no es nativo, ¿verdad? No, entonces sí, si siempre, este, tal vez nos dificulta un poco, ¿verdad? Por no tener el, el nativo nosotros, tener el, 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 el ambiente, ¿verdad? De escuchar un nativo. Pero lo más que pueda, Austin... Trate de agarrar de ellos porque vaya, mire, eh, sé que no es nativo, pero es uno de los más difíciles, acentos más difíciles. Sí. Y si le entiende a ellos, le va a entender a los demás, créanme. <risa> es bien difícil, no, es el acento de ellos es bien difícil. Entonces, a veces, eh, el, el tener una experiencia así y después escuchar a los nativos y usted dice, qué bonito se escucha, le entiendo más al nativo, ¿verdad? Por lo mismo. Sí. Y pues no, no es verdad por, por criticar, simplemente son acentos que tenemos, ¿verdad? Nosotros tenemos también un acento, ellos también unos, y realmente así para los nativos es difícil entendernos a nosotros, entonces la verdad es que varía. Pero trate de agarrar al menos ese acento en este momento nada más para el listening. Para el sí. speaking no les copie. Para, porque al final va a tener el acento de ellos, ¿verdad? Entonces, <risa> al menos el listening. Pero eh, sí, en lo que pueda, trate de poner videos en YouTube o, o alguien y ponga nativos hablando, native, 
uh, speakers ponga. Uh, y ahí va a hablar que, perdón, va a haber videos usted o conversaciones de nativos que aunque a saber qué estén hablando o de qué tema, pero al menos usted va a estar escuchando. Puede escuchar podcast también o cuando vaya al trabajo, póngase los audífonos y, y ponga podcast o, o conversaciones con nativos. Solo nativos, eso les va a ayudar bastante. Aunque no lo crean, si todos los días hiciera esa actividad, usted ya, ya está teniendo al menos ese ambiente que usted mismo lo está creando, ¿verdad? Pero al menos lo está teniendo. Eso le va a ayudar. Eh, fíjese de que hay una aplicación, Osvin, que yo siempre la digo. Y pues la verdad se la digo porque yo la, yo la he usado, a mí me gusta mucho. Se llama... Uh, se lo juro que siempre, siempre, siempre se me olvida. Es talk, people talk. Um, se la voy a enviar ahorita al grupo. Pero me gusta mucho esa aplicación. Fíjese porque esa aplicación realmente dependiendo también de la persona con que usted hable. Porque es como un chat que está disponible para personas que quieren aprender el idioma. Entonces, estas personas que quieren aprender el idioma. Ahí hay de diferentes partes del mundo. Usted elige qué tipo de idioma quiere aprender. Por ejemplo, los nativos, la mayoría quieren aprender español y usted quiere hablar, aprender inglés. Entonces hay muchos nativos ahí de, de, de UK, de England, o hay de, de Australia o de Estados Unidos que van a querer hablar con una persona que hable español porque obviamente quiere un nativo y usted también quiere un nativo, ¿verdad? Puede aprovechar la oportunidad, pero mi recomendación es que no le dé pena y mande solicitudes de amistad y empiece a hablar usted con las personas, aunque le dé pena, porque a veces uno dice, dice, ay, no, no le voy a hablar, pero fíjese que a mí me gusta esta aplicación porque realmente ellos van a lo que van, pues es una aplicación, como le digo, no hay como otras que, se, que, que pues las personas se confunden. Yo tuve la experiencia de hablar con ¿qué? Como, como cuatro nativos y la verdad eh, no, le, no le voy a decir que pase todos los días hablando porque la gente pues obviamente pues un día, dos días, una semana y, y sabe que me gusta la aplicación porque incluso se puede hasta mandar eh, audio y todo, ellos me mandaban audio y aunque no lo crea, aunque yo tenga eh, tal vez la experiencia, aunque hable en inglés, hay palabras que cuestan entenderles porque son nativos. Pero si no es así, créame que no, Osvin, uno no, no va a desarrollar esa parte auditiva realmente al 100%. Entonces, eso le va a ayudar mucho. Es un chat realmente donde usted puede, es como WhatsApp, pues, como Facebook. Usted tiene que ir agregando a las personas. Realmente yo le digo, no le dé pena agregue a todas las personas que pueda su propósito es aprender y a mí me gusta porque las personas de ahí tienen el mismo propósito que uno yo, las personas que yo hablé solo una creo que sí <coughs> me salió medio rara y le dejé de hablar pero lo demás me acuerdo que sí, todos, todos me manda, hasta me mandaron audios porque yo le dije que quería escuchar más que todo, me gustaba mucho la parte de listening y sí eh, yo le mandaba en español porque obviamente también quería que él practicara o esa persona practicara, ¿verdad? Y lo bueno es que vaya, usted estaba enfocado en el listening, por así decirlo. Entonces usted va a querer escuchar, ¿verdad? Entonces tal vez ahí hay que compartir un poco más porque usted quisiera también practicarlo, ¿verdad? Pero me imagino que ahí dependiendo de la conversación, depende de las necesidades de cada uno. Pero sí les recomiendo mucho la aplicación. Créame que no, yo no soy mucho así de aplicaciones porque la verdad es que me da como cosa, ¿verdad? Pero esa aplicación me gusta mucho porque, como le digo, las personas realmente saben lo que están haciendo en ese lugar. Es el propósito de aprender. Creo que solamente puede elegir un idioma porque hay una versión pagada donde usted puede elegir más idiomas. Entonces, solamente día que usted es nativo español, ¿verdad? Y pone su país y quiere aprender inglés, ¿verdad? Y ya con eso, porque si elige otro, un tercer idioma, ya es pagada la opción esa. Pero eso le va a ayudar para que la gente a usted lo encuentre como nativo de español y quiera hablar con usted, y se encuentra las personas. Entonces es muy estratégico configurarlo. 
Entonces es de tener paciencia, o sea, para ser honesta, al principio uno dice, ahí tiene la aplicación, yo la tenía, y dije, bueno, voy a ver la hora, dije yo así. Y a veces uno por no intentarlo, no empezar, ¿verdad? No lo hace. Pero yo lo animo que lo haga, ¿sí? Porque si no es así, ¿cómo? Pues, entonces esas serían como mis, mis, mis este, recomendaciones, Oswin. No sé si habría algo más como yo le podría ayudar con todo uso. Si se le ocurre algo más o algo que no esté entendiendo, eh, puede contactarme en WhatsApp con todo gusto, ¿verdad? Yo no soy nativa, pero si en algún momento quiere practicar conmigo, con muchísimo gusto podemos practicar ahí, aunque sí. sea con audio de WhatsApp. Ok, le agradezco mucho. Bueno, sí. sí. Eso es lo de... más difícil para mí, listening. Este es el, el más difícil. Pero como le digo, quedo a sus órdenes y cualquier cosa, eh, pues me dice. Sí, un gusto tenerlo acá con nosotros. Y pues estas sesiones de One One, lastimosamente, son una al curso por cada uno, porque siempre es uno, ¿verdad? Todas las noches. Pero como le digo, si en cualquier dado caso usted necesite de mí algún inconveniente, duda que tenga de un tema, dígame en WhatsApp y yo con gusto le ayudo hoy. Ok, muchísimas gracias. Bueno, espero que tenga una excelente noche, Osby. Gracias por su Igual. tiempo hoy. Bueno, cuídese. Bye bye. Take bye. care.